Hi everyone, I'm Vinod and welcome to Career Board. I've created some videos in the past about IIT toppers and where their careers are. And that got a very good response, an overwhelming response from some other watchers. So I thought let's maybe do something different this time. Let's look at some of the folks who won the Olympiads, the math Olympiads, the physics Olympiads and see where their careers end up. So that's exactly what I'm gonna go today in terms of looking at those people who won the math Olympiads, uh, won the gold medals and see where their careers are. So let's jump in with the first person uh, we have. And we have looked at data from 1990 onwards. This was public information. 1990, the topper was uh, Rina Pani Grahi. And Rina was not just the math Olympiad winner, but he was also the IIT topper in 1990, the JE exam topper. So you can see that um, he was a topper in 1991. So he passed out in 1995, went on to MIT to do masters. Um, he actually worked for a couple of years. So he worked in Cisco for a couple of years and then side by side, he did his PhD from Stanford University. And he writes now works as a research scientist at Google and he's based out of uh, Sunnyvale in the Bay Area. So that's Rena, a gold medalist, uh, went on to do computer science and went to MIT and Stanford, a dream profile. 1996 was Ajay Ramdas. So if you look at Ajay Ramdas' career, he actually went on to IIT Madras to do his bachelor's in computer science in the year 2000. As soon as he finished his master's, it looks like he was super interested in the space of mathematics. So even after doing undergrad in computer science, he decided to do a master's in math and a PhD in mathematics. And he finished his PhD in 2005. And since then, he has been a visiting re assistant professor at the U.S. Oklahoma Cornell University for some time. And he's right now an associate professor of mathematics at Indiana University. So interesting that a person begins at, with computer science and moves on to mathematics and continues to make career in mathematics. 1998 was uh, again one more math gold medalist. So this is Tejasvi who got the gold medal, went out to the Chennai Mathematical Institute. The Chennai Mathematical Institute is very famous in the sense that it's like the Indian Institute, Institute of Science. The best of students from across India who have specific interest in mathematics sometimes decide not to go to IITs, but to actually go to CMI because the IITs are not that well known when it comes to teaching the basic sciences, including mathematics or physics. And other schools like the Indian Institute of Science, uh, which has opened up some recent programs at the Chennai Mathematical Institute, Institute tends to attract a lot of really good students. So Tejasri goes to Chennai Mathematical Institute, Institute called CMI, does his bachelor in three years. And actually goes on to Caltech, not bad, like one of the top research universities in the world and does a PhD in mathematics. He gets out in 2006. Um, so since then, if you look at his career, he has actually been at the IASC for a year. He was a postdoc at the Indian Institute of Science. He was a postdoc at uh, the university, one of the universities in Amsterdam for three years. And then he was a consultant in uh, Netherlands. Uh, he was a visiting researcher at uh, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, which is the Homi Baba Center for Science Education. After that, he seems for some reason that after spending close to like eight years working in as a postdoc, visiting researcher and so on, he probably decided that he was, I don't know what happened, but I would guess that he was probably not getting a academic job and he decided to switch to the private sector. So he ended up as head of research at Optiver. It's a company based in Amsterdam. And he worked there for around four years and then decided that he's gonna work in another company called Da Vinci Derivatives in Amsterdam. So that's where he is right now. 1998 was Abhinav Kumar, who's a, not just a gold medalist in the math Olympiad, but also a person who was an IIT JE topper. So Abhinav interestingly decided not to go to IITs, went to MIT, did his undergrad in math, physics, and computer science, but clearly it looks like the interest was in mathematics. So he goes to Harvard, does his PhD in mathematics. 
and he actually worked as an assistant professor and as an associate professor at MIT for some time. And uh, around eight years after he works at MIT, he decides uh, that maybe he wants to work in the private sector. So he's currently working in the private sector, but at the same time, he's also working as a visiting research scholar at the State University of New York at Stony Brook. So that's where he is. So I already covered Abhinav Kumar in the IIT topper from 1990 to 2000 PowerPoint. So you may want to look at my earlier presentation to get more information on which exact company Abhinav Kumar is. I believe he's in a company called Renaissance Technologies based in the Boston uh, region. Uh, that's, so that's where he is. But at the same time, he is also currently works as a visiting researcher at the Stony Brook University. And he's also accepted, I think he was in India for a year with the Infosys uh, scholarship to teach in a US university, to a, teach an Indian university. So that's Abhinav. So the big learning from my perspective is that even if you join as an assistant professor at some of the top universities in the US, there's no guarantee that you would get tenure. Um, I believe that if Abhinav Kumar had gotten tenure, he would probably have continued to be as a full professor at MIT by now. But it looks like, because if you don't get tenure, especially in the space of mathematics, it's very difficult to get an alternate job because number of positions open the basic sciences are very limited. So then you have to move to the private sector. You cannot continue in academia. And doing a PhD is cutthroat competition, um, especially if you want academic jobs. So getting into academia as an assistant professor is very difficult. And even if you get into as an assistant professor, you have to research you have to do a lot of research and publish a lot of papers. And uh, there's a ticking clock for you. You've got around six years, seven years, um, by which you get confirmed as a tenured professor. And if that doesn't happen, then you really have to choose other pastures. And the thing is, um, when you do your PhD, nobody really talks about all these things that when you get into academia, you, there is all this madness about research. Uh, so it's something which people should watch out for. 1998, Chetan Balwe. So he's another person who ends up getting the gold um, in the math Olympiad. I believe he did his undergrad later and um, he studied his mathematics PhD at the University of Pittsburgh. And he was a postdoc at the Ecole, which is one of the best schools in France, in Ecole Normale Superior at Paris. And he's currently working as an assistant professor at the Indian Institute, Institute of Science Education Research, Mohali, IASER Mohali. So that's Chetan. And it's interesting that he did come back to India. So that's awesome. 2001, the person who got the gold medal was uh, Sucharit Sarkar. And if you look at Sucharit's career, he does his bachelor's in mathematics in the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore. Uh, sorry, he does it from the Indian Statistical Institute in Bangalore in 2005. And then he goes on to do his PhD from Princeton University in just four years. That's amazing. And currently he works as a professor at the Department of Mathematics at uh, the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA. So that's incredible that he decides to get a make a career in academia and he's a full-time tenured professor. So it looks like he's done really, really well in his career. He's among the best gold medalist to come from India in the math Olympiad and have created a career for themselves. That's just amazing. 2001 is Abhay Jha. So he was a gold medalist. So Abhay actually goes on to do his undergrad from IIT Bombay in computer science in 2006. He goes to the University of Washington to do his MS and PhD and graduates in 2012. And he's worked in the private sector. He's worked in Walmart, Facebook, Amazon, so that's Abhay's career. He's currently working in Sunnydale as a machine learning scientist. 2002, the gold medalist from India was Nikhil Ashok Savale. And if you look at Nikhil's uh, career, it basically is that he's done his PhD in MIT in uh, 2012. And he's currently working as a research assistant at, um, at, at the University of Cone, I, I think that's the pronunciation. So that's where he works. And uh, again, he works in Europe right now. And you can see clearly that he has spent some time uh, doing his PhD at MIT. And he's also probably worked as a postdoc at Notre Dame. So that's his career. I don't really know where he did his undergrad. It's not public information. 
after 2002, there was a big gap or close to 10 years. Nobody really won anything from India. So I think that speaks to something which happened during the period. There's a lot of fascination for getting into IITs. The IIT craze was becoming a lot more. In fact, the, there were coaching institutes at Hyderabad and Kota, which all came up and were giving a lot of training to people to crack the exams. I think if you are a lover of the basic sciences, uh, you need to really chill out a little and do things differently. Uh, sometimes this craze for marks and cracking entrance exams basically means that you give it your complete 100%. You're not really focusing on other Olympiad exams. Let's look at Akash Nil. So Akash basically does his undergrad from MIT in 2015. And uh, he's basically been in the private sector since then. He's worked in Facebook, he's worked in NVIDIA, he's worked in OpenAI. He's currently a senior machine learning engineer in LinkedIn. That's where he works. 2012 was uh, Prafulla Sushil Dariwal. And uh, Interesting that he took post MIT. This is uh, undergrad in 2017, so he takes around four years to get his undergrad done. I think this speaks to the fact that if you win the gold medal in the math Olympiad and physics Olympiad, uh, you really have a spot open for you at schools like MIT. You are probably getting a full scholarship, so that's one of the reasons why a lot of people who get a gold medal get actively recruited by MIT. Look, if you look at Profiler's career, he's basically worked in OpenAI, uh, similar to the person before Akash Nil, who worked also in OpenAI for a year. So it looks like in this case, probably Profiler knew Akash Nil and got his offer from OpenAI, but he continues to work there at OpenAI as a research scientist in the San Francisco Bay Area. So that's Profiler's career. 2012 was uh, Devjuthi Dev Banerjee. He was a gold medalist. And the only information I got about Dave Duthi is that he did his undergrad from the Chennai Mathematical Institute. And he also decided to do his master's in mathematics from there. I don't know where he is right now. Like, this is not public information. After 2012, there was again a gap of around seven years where no Indian was winning any gold medal. Uh, they could have won silver and uh, bronze medals, but not the gold. So 2019 was an interesting time when a really young kid called Pranjil Srivastava turns up and he has actually won three gold medals so far, 2019, 21, and 22. So he's actually a 12th grade student, uh, 12th standard student at the National Public School in Koramangala, Bangalore. And he has won the gold medal multiple times. And... Uh, Again, he's a student, so I really don't know where he is right now. Um, so I would assume that um, he's basically won a silver medal in 2018, gold in 2019, 21, and 22. Just in honor of the best ever geniuses to come out of India. And he's, I believe, just a student who's probably just entering college. So we'll know more about him in the future. This uh, He's probably not yet joined his undergrad degree, uh, but just done wonderfully well. So again, this is just a symptom of how India is changing. Um, there is a lot of focus on entrance exams and at the same time there are some people who start very early, prepare for the Olympiads and do really well. Um, and uh, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me a note, leave me a note in the comments below and do like, subscribe to this channel if you uh, found it interesting and do share it with your friends. I would love it for more folks to get such information. So folks, uh, I had a pleasure talking to you today and uh, do follow me on LinkedIn, do reach out to me on LinkedIn or WhatsApp if you got further questions. The information is in the description below. Cheers, everyone. A pleasure. Bye-bye.